All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to Watch Dogs 2. My name is John. I'll be your host for this Let's Play playthrough, whatever you guys want to call it. So, uh, this is my third take at this. I've been sitting at this menu for about half an hour because everything that could go wrong <laughs> did go wrong. So, this game came out in November, so like last month from when I'm recording it. It just came out at a really weird time where I didn't really have too much uh, free time to play this, but we do have it now. And I don't think this game actually works on Steam. It just directs you to Uplay, so that's what we're playing it on. And I know Uplay is not exactly the greatest thing. But anyway, um, I do have Watch Dogs 1 on the channel if you want to watch that for some reason. I'll leave a link into the or I'll leave a link in the description to the playlist and you can watch that. I don't think 1 and 2 are connected whatsoever, but um, yeah. So, for all of you who are thinking about either picking this game up for the holidays or just playing the game in general on PC, I'll go over the options menu or the settings real quick so you guys can take a quick look and see what is included because I know that's pretty important for the PC uh, port, I guess. So, the beginning part, we have the difficulty. goes up easy, normal, hard, realistic. We're just going to play playing it on the default normal. Uh, keyboard and mouse, obviously, this game came out on uh, console as well. So it should have both support. Heads up display is pretty much a mini map and anything that you could think of. Uh, video is what we're going to be going over. Uh, color is brightness and sharpness, so nothing really important. Uh, the display, you see your graphics card here. I assume if you're using SLI, you can have the option to turn it off or on in here. But if not, you could just manually turn it off. Um, windowed mode, you have like windowed or full screen, full screen borderless, and windowed, windowed borderless, and the other one. You could use multiple monitors and play on whichever one, which is always a neat feature that uh, some games don't have. Resolution, I do believe this goes up to 4K, but if you're for demonstration purposes and for recording, We'll be playing this on 1080. Refresh rate is essentially your monitor's refresh rate. V-Sync, you should usually have that off unless you're having screen tearing. And field of view, it goes uh, low 70, high 110. And pixel density, I'll just leave this on default. Quality, for the most part, we're going to be playing everything on ultra to high. And everything down here is personal preference, and I don't want that. But that's pretty much it. More games should have the VRAM usage for your video card and all that stuff. So that's kind of neat that they have it. But with that said, um, I haven't actually played the second one. So this is going to be my first playthrough as well. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. I think my first Watch Dogs 1 game or the video had quite a few likes. I don't know how many. But if we could get a few likes to get this video off to a good start, I would really appreciate it. And yeah. So I did test it to see how the recording went and then my first playthrough um my camera died <laughs> so i was like oh god that was like the worst timing had to charge it back up or just put it on a charger and then we're good to go hopefully nothing breaks again and yeah we're starting up with everything hopefully everything goes well initiation retro your mission should you choose to accept it is to bypass bloom security doors and get inside then find and erase your personal ctos profile what? one minute before i do anything i want to see if i could change the key binds real quick is there a key bind option please game Am I looking somewhere weird? I didn't think it'd be there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the options, multiple languages subtitles are on. Of course, turn off the music because Ubisoft and EA are known for having a lot of copyright music. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Does that guy turn around? He does turn around. So I just want you guys to know that I am absolutely terrible at stealth games. So... I really like stealth games. I'm just not good at it like some people are, which is unfortunate. Alright, so we gotta get there. I don't assume we jump. That seems like death. Aha! Stairs, of course. Situational awareness at its finest. I thought that was just like a balcony. Once again, bad at stealth games. No one should be surprised. Who wants to take this kid down? Coming up the stairs. Cops are firing. I knew I shouldn't have ran out there like that. Man out. You're only making things worse. Hmm. Looks clear. I'm gonna check another area. This doesn't have to end in violence. Sounds like you would see <laughs> that voice or something on The Simpsons. This doesn't have to end in violence. All right, all I wanted to do is figure out how to how to open this thing. What the? F Who puts this on middle mouse? game. People don't really use middle mouse that often. I might have to play this game on a controller in the near future. Oh boy. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens and video games. It's not just any alien. It's oh come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh god, oh god! Damn, that's deadly. Who is he? It's retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened. All right.
Ah, okay. Does this work? We got it? Alrighty, excellent. It's gonna get take me a while to figure out how to actually do all this. Now that we opened this one, we're going through. Should we go through here or should we just go the safe way? I don't know if this is actually the safe way, but it seems like the least painful area way to go through. Don't run intruder. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland but was born in <laughs> His deal is he's been hanging around the DeadSec IRC and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Heads down! How many people are there? Keyboard and mouse, boys. Whoop. <laughs> oh, God, that's so annoying having to do this. Oh, Jesus. How much ammo do I have? God, just what the heck? Having to middle mouse click everything like that, that's painful. I wish this was on the E button instead. How many taser shots do we have? Well, like sleep darts. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high tech burglary, so. He's done time? Community service, not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system? Always in the system. Take a look around. Holy shit! He went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Oh, that's a lot of them. Ah! Climb inside the server tower. Alrighty. Where is the server tower? YOLO. 10 meters, what the hell? Is this supposed to be like a test or is this a real thing? It's very unclear. He's going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. That can't be safe. Man props. It's going the mile.
Is this scene like really necessary? I like how this is like the tutorial level and I don't even They're putting you on the spot already I think we might have to take out everyone Push the button. What does this even mean? Oh, I get it. Puzzle master. So, so they know. Could just I don't know. <laughs> Can we just none? All right then. You know they're on to you. You might want to hurry this up. I'm just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. While targeting an object, open the hacking module. Dude, we don't have time for that. Proximity trigger. Hold up. How does that taste? Endless beeping.
This is not out. Where are we going? Where? It's one of those hackers. Send some cars. He might have explosives. How do you get out of here? How to video games. How do you have unlimited sleep dart tasers? How many floors are there? We're on the second one. I know that sound is obnoxious. I'm trying to get out of here. Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I go? Josh. Okay. Okay. Fuck you, Bloom. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. You know, that's actually kind of scary in a way that's somewhat realistic. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, aka Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Man. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. 
Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I... I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this mother... <laughs> Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. All right. Well, that was weird. Is this a movie or a game? Hello. Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it. I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. That was got to be the weirdest intro in the game. Damn. I guess that actually I looks win, huh? really nice though. <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations. So hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk of shame on my first day. Sweet. <laughs> 